everyone welcome back to my channel if today is your first time seeing me hi my name is Tammy welcome please stick around and if you like the content in this video please give it a like and also subscribe if you have not already I'm going to be making my favorite del uh, snack delicacy and it's called Nigerian meat pie I love my Nigerian meat pie and I set out to just learn how to make it however it's a very tasking uh, process so um, when I do make it it's usually for some type of thing that's coming up that requires um, some snacks so I'm here at Walmart to per pick up some of the main ingredients that is needed to make the Nigerian meat pie I actually have a list here so I'm going to be vlogging how I make it I hope you guys like this video and I hope you can learn some one thing or two on how to make this if you know you have questions please leave them in the comments below so let's go see what we can pick up here and I will see you guys soon So I am just going to be leaving uh, Walmart now. I got everything that I need. Stay tuned and I'll see you soon. For the list of the ingredients and the step-by-step -step on how to make Nigerian meat pie, please check the description box below. This recipe makes up to 20 meat pies. To make the dough, add 6 and 1 4 cups of flour to your mixing bowl. Add 2 tablespoons of sugar, half tablespoon of salt, and 1 teaspoon of baking powder. Mix the dry ingredients well. Cut small cubes of butter, add to the flour mix. Use your hands to work the butter in the flour mix. Work quickly to prevent the butter from melting. Then create a hole in the middle of your flour and add three cold beaten eggs to the middle and combine by mixing with the flour. Add a little bit of cold water, about one fourth cup. Knead the dough, but do not over knead. After kneading, place the dough in a mixing bowl, cover with a cling wrap or plastic cover, like I did, and place in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to an hour. To prepare the meat filling, Chop onions, scotch bonnet, potato, and put them aside. Then, boil the chopped potatoes for about 3 minutes. Add 
Add small amount of oil into pan to medium heat for three minutes. Add chopped onions and pepper and fry for about two to three minutes. Then add the lean ground beef, breaking it in, fry till brown, and then add all your seasoning, mix well, and fry for about two minutes. Then add the carrots and the potatoes and let it cook for about two minutes. Then you add one tablespoon of cornstarch to a small amount of water. Mix well and this thickens the sauce and makes the filling moist. Then you leave to simmer for about three minutes. To put it all together, take the dough out of the refrigerator, dust the surface of your workspace with flour, break one egg and beat it and put it to the side, preheat your oven to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. And depending on your oven set, you could set it a little lower or higher. Then cut the dough into 8 to 10 portions. Then you take one of the dough, cut and roll out with the rolling pin. Cut out a circle with a round bowl and place a spoonful of meat filling at the center of your dough. Seal the edges with egg. Optional, you can use the empanada press or fold and use a fork to seal at the edge. Then you place the meat pie on a baking sheet. Use butter on the sheet if it's not a non-stick pan. Brush the surface of the meat pies with beaten egg and use a fork to punch a hole on the top of the meat pie. Place in the oven and bake for 30 to 40 minutes. The oven has already been preheated to 350, so I'm gonna set it to 375 for 30 minutes and also check in periodically while it bakes. Let's sit and cool for five minutes and it's ready to eat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. That's good. <laughs>